Before we get into this video, just avoid this mistake when you're making Chatham Wedding Agent. And I'm gonna say this in the beginning before I go through the entire process of how we made the Chatham Wedding Agent, um, is make sure you use distilled water or soft water if you can get your hands on it. Um, I ended up using dehumidifier water um, because I was listening to um, one of his lectures and one of his videos on YouTube saying that you could use that. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. If you can get your hands and buy some distilled water, um, I would definitely use that. And later on in the video, I'm going to show you um, when I made it a year and a half ago with distilled water because that's how it should look like and it should not look like this um, cloudiness of what looks like milk, um, but this is um, Chatham Wedding Agent. The Chatham Wedding Agent, it's a, um, it's a surfactant. Um, so this is something that you spray on your plants. It's gonna help reduce uh, the amount of pests that are coming in to attack your plants. Um, it is something that I used um, in my cabbage video along with the Chatham Herbal Solution. And um, I found that it became pretty effective. I just had to uh, be on top of my cabbages and spray them. Uh, for the worms and um, it's something that I knew that I needed to make again this season because I saw that it worked um, and so that's why I wanted to um, show you guys how we make the Chatham winning agent um, so let's get right into it in this video we're gonna make five liters of Chatham wedding agent also known as JWA so the materials that we're gonna need to make five liters of Chatham Wedding Agent, we're gonna get started with using 0.9 liters of canola oil. We're gonna be using 160 grams of potassium hydroxide, and this is 90%. We're gonna use 120 milliliters of soft water. Now, if you don't have soft water, that's perfectly okay. They say you can use distilled water or you can use water from the dehumidifier or from the AC. And this is water that I'm gonna be using for my dehumidifier. This is a stir tool that I'm gonna be using to mix up the ingredients. A bucket that's HDPE to handle the heat of the uh, potassium hydroxide mixed in with the water. So we're gonna be using this along with our lid that we'll be putting on top. And I'm gonna be putting on some gloves just in case any of this gets on me. Just know that this is uh, very dangerous when we're mixing the potassium hydroxide with the water. So just please be careful uh, when you're handling these materials. We're gonna add our potassium hydroxide into our bucket. We're gonna add our 120 milliliters of our dehumidifier water. Remember you can use distilled water if you have soft water, that's fine too, or the water from the AC. What we're gonna do from here is we're gonna close this up with the lid and we're gonna stir it up. We'll just kind of stir that up, let that all mix in together. You'll notice everything has dissolved in the bucket. And we're gonna get ready to add our canola oil. Now, because I'm only making five liters of the JWA, we only need 0.9 liters of our canola oil. So we're gonna get ready to add that in to our bucket. Now we're gonna get ready to stir this for about five minutes and what we'll notice is gonna be a change of color and consistency. So let's go ahead. I have my stir tool here. I got this at Home Depot. I got my drill. So five minutes, we're just gonna go ahead and whisk this up. So after about five minutes, you'll start noticing the consistency and color change on our JWA. And that is what we want. So, so you can see here, um, it's starting to harden up a little bit and um, the consistency is getting a little thicker. And uh, that is what we wanna see in this first step. So what we're gonna do now is take a lid we're gonna close this up and uh, we're gonna check back in on it in about three days. 
Um, I'm leaving this in a room where the temperature's um, a little bit right at 72. Um, so it should be an okay temperature for this to be in here. But uh, we'll check back on it in about three days and uh, we'll finish the step into making JWA. Welcome back everybody. So it's been about three days since we started our Chatham wedding agent. So I want to show you what it looks like after the three days that we let it sit. So after the three days, um, you should notice that the consistency of your Chatham wedding agent should um, look almost like butter. Um, there should be no liquids left in here. Um, and if there is, go ahead and repeat the steps to blend it back up and just make sure it is that consistency of uh, pretty much butter. Um, so that's what we have here. So with the five liters of Chanam Wedding Agent that we're making, it does call for four liters of the soft water. But remember, if you don't have the soft water, it's okay to use distilled water. You can use water from your dehumidifier, which is what I'm doing, or you can use water from the AC. So I'm going to actually start off with one liter of the dehumidifier water to break up the pieces, and then we'll add the extra three liters of water as it starts breaking down. All right, so we're going to add our one liter of our dehumidifier water. So before I even use my electric drill to stir this up, I'm actually gonna break it up with a wooden spoon. We're gonna make sure we get these into little pieces. All right, so we're gonna put the remainder of the three liters of water, completing four total liters of water in uh, this Chatham wetting agent. All right, so now that we added the three liters on there, completing four liters of the water added, we're gonna continue to stir this and what we're gonna notice in about 24 hours is that every little particle that was in here should start to melt um, and that's gonna help complete the process of our Chatham wedding agent to completion. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up every hour until the little pieces start to break up um, and it should be ready to go um, and be completed here pretty soon. Okay, since we broke it up into smaller pieces, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my hand drill and we're just gonna um, very slowly start mixing this up um, so that way it breaks down a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up with our electric tool here. All right, we got our little stir tool here. We're just gonna go at a very slow speed here um, and just kind of mix this up and break it down a little bit further. So part of the natural farming journey is that you're gonna make mistakes and things are gonna happen and some of these inputs that we make aren't gonna go the way that we see other people making them and maybe they ain't gonna turn out the way that we needed to turn out and that's okay because that's how we're gonna learn and with those failures, you're gonna be better about it next time. So that's just me saying I'm gonna show you what this JWA looks like. Um, everything melted, um, it's been about the 24 hour mark, um, but I just wanna show you what mine looked like. This was using dehumidifier water and what this um, JWA looks like now. So let me show you that. All right, so this is about after the 24 hour mark, we've been letting it melt. I let it sit after for about three days to see if anything would change. This is the consistency that I got. 
and you can see it's milky and it's cloudy. So looking at this, you're probably like, wow, that's not what it should look like. That's not how other people are showing it that it looks like because it's supposed to be clear. It's supposed to look like the canola oil. Well, yeah, that is how it's supposed to look like and this is just how mine turned out. And I think part of the reason why it turned out like that was I did use dehumidifier water, so I don't know. Um, that That's probably one of the main reasons why it ended up looking like that. And I'm gonna show you um, just a clip of when I made it about a year and a half ago out um, on my farm um, because it did not look like this at all and I used distilled water for that JWA. Um, so it's interesting to see that this one turned out cloudy using dehumidifier water, which means that that water was probably harder. It's important for us to show our mistakes. It's important for us to show our failures, especially when we're making natural farming inputs like this, because um, it can get complicated. Um, because you know, most of the times when we're looking out on the Instagrams or the YouTubes, everybody's having that perfect plan made right from the bat, first time, everything's good. Um, but that's not what I'm about here and you guys know that that I'm gonna show you guys my mistakes I'm gonna show you guys my failures um, because it's gonna happen um, and it's happened to me many times in this natural farming journey um, And I think it's just I think it's open and honest on my part to let you know that these things are gonna happen One part of the ingredient could mess up the whole you know natural farming input of that process um, So it's important for me on this channel to show you guys every step of the way even when I mess up, um, that you guys are able to see those mistakes so that you won't make them um, in the future. But, you know, it happens and that's okay because um, I think it's kind of interesting to me um, that this is, it's really my third time making this and you know, the, the only thing I really changed um, this time about this was the water um, because I typically just go out to the store and buy distilled water I do have some JWA that I made about a year and a half ago that I'll probably still use on my farm, but this was just for tutorial purposes to show you guys um, because I didn't really make a JWA video. Um, so that's why I was like, hey, let me go ahead and make one here. Um, but this is it. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and bottle this up and show you guys that process. All right, we're gonna just make this pretty simple on the process of bottling up our JWA. Um, I'm actually going to pour it into um, this little pitcher here to make it easier so everything's not running over. Um, I am going to transfer it into this bottle. Um, the storage life for JWA is indefinite. Once you have this, um, it's available to use. Um, so you don't have to worry about it expiring or anything like that. Um, so let me go ahead and bottle this up for you guys and show you uh, <laughs> our mistake with this JWA. It's important to use the soft water or the distilled water um, or else it might end up looking like this and that's not to say we can't use this um, it's just probably not gonna be as effective so we're probably just gonna have to use a lot more um, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this into this bottle and there we have it with our JWA All right, we're gonna go ahead and bottle the rest of this up, but <laughs> it just looks like milk. I mean, um, I mean, it happens. It um, it happens, and I'm here to show you that you know it's not gonna look exactly like the textbook, uh, but it needs to be because uh, that's how it's gonna be effective. But this is how mine turned out. Um, so let me go ahead and bottle the rest of this up because in total. Uh, the measurements that I was using in this video is going to um, give you about 5 liters of Chatham Wedding Agent. Um, so let's go ahead and finish bottling this up. Since this didn't turn out super clear, uh, this probably is not as effective as it would have been if we probably would have used the soft water or distilled water. But now we know. Um, I won't be using dehumidifier water anymore. We're going to go ahead and um, we're still gonna keep this. I'm not gonna toss all this out because you know we put a lot of work into this. Um, but it's just here so I can show you that you know sometimes it's gonna happen. Mistakes are gonna be made, um, and you know learn from my failures so that way you can be successful on your farm making natural farming inputs. 
um, but use distilled water, use um, soft water. Do not use tap water, that is hard water. Um, don't use dehumidifier water because that's what I use. I want to be ready and I want to be well prepared so that way nothing on my garden that I work really hard for is going to go to waste um, because that's just going to be a lot of wasted time on my end. I'm John KNF. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.